Okay, so in this video we're going to take a look at an interesting activity using our Sorbonne to generate the famous Fibonacci number sequence. Any term in the Fibonacci sequence is generated by summing the two previous terms. So if I want to generate term number 7, which is 13, I would add terms 5 and 6, which is 5 plus 8, to, gen to equal 13. And this can be done indefinitely to generate any number of terms uh, that you desire. Fibonacci didn't actually discover the, the sequence uh, because it was known in India for hundreds of years before his time where Arabic numerals come from and also our modern day base 10 numbering system. But Fibonacci played a role in disseminating this sequence throughout Europe uh, at a time when Roman numerals were um, commonplace. So who was Fibonacci? He was born in Italy, uh, lived from 1170 to 1250, and actually Fibonacci was his nickname, um, and it roughly means uh, son of Bonacci. Uh, Fibonacci Day is November 23rd because it's the 11th month and the 23rd day, so 1, 1, 2, 3 are the first four terms of Fibonacci sequence. So surprisingly, it turns out that there is an incredible link between the Fibonacci sequence and the golden number, phi, which is found throughout nature and the golden number is 1.618 uh, roughly. But if you were to uh, take the Fibonacci sequence and form a series of squares as shown in this pattern, it creates um, an incredible spiral-like um, structure. And the very interesting thing about this is that it's found all throughout nature. So for example, we find it in a nautilus seashell. We find it in the formation of a rose. We find it in hurricanes. And believe it or not, we also find Fibonacci's sequence in the great Leonardo da Vinci's famous painting of the Mona Lisa. So let's take a closer look at how we might actually generate the Fibonacci sequence on the Sorbonne. So I'm going to start off here by entering a 1 here and a 1 here, since those are the first two terms of the Fibonacci sequence. And what I'm going to do is simply add back and forth between these two rods. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one and I'm going to add it here. So 1 plus 1, I now have 2. Now I'm going to take this term and add it here. So I'm going to add 2 to this rod. So now I have the two terms 2 and 3. Now I'm going to take 3 and add it to this rod. So adding 3, I get 5, which is the fifth term of the uh, sequence. So now I'm going to take 5 and add it to this 3 which gives me the 8 and then adding 8 to 5 is going to give me my term 13 and I can continue this process on and on um, for as long as I like. And so uh, what's a really interesting exercise is to see how far you can go uh, in in the shortest period of time and for so you know your information um, you know let's say you wanted to take it out to 10 terms uh, you should find that you the tenth term is the number 55 now if you take it out say uh, 20 terms your numbers are going to get much larger you know 6765 um, and you know you can continue going uh, as far as you like. As you can see, if I take it out 40 terms, I'm already over 100 uh, million um, in, in value. So it gets quite large very fast, but um, uh, a very cool uh, 
activity to practice and um, look for it everywhere you go in nature. So good luck and keep practicing.